Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. So in the last episode, we went on a date with Alphys, kind of? Um, I don't want to talk about it. Let's just go into Alphys' lab. We got her talking to us, and we've started down the path to the true ending. So all is good, in my opinion. That hole still isn't fixed. It's a note from Alphys. Read it. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey... Thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. And that's all she wrote. So it wasn't a toilet? What? Warning, warning. Elevator losing power. M tether stability lost. Altitude dropping. Let me guess, I wake up on flowers. Is that what's gonna happen? Oh no, I didn't this time. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. They didn't. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster soul last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power t termination. I have that. The true laboratory. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you could read. Power room. Buy chips for 25G? Sure. The vending machine dispensed some chisps. Oh, chisps, not chips. Potato chisps. Heals 13 HP. Regular old potato chisps. So I can't go in that door. I need a red, green, yellow, and blue things. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They... They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Are they trying to... Um... This doesn't seem right. Okay. I don't know what to say about this. Making monsters that can persist after death? Entry number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for their funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? You turn on the sink. You turn off the sink. Rinse, repeat. <laughs> Rinse, get it? It's a sink. Hi.
unknown drew near. Um. You take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. But nobody came. Then hold still. But nobody came. Be seeing you. There's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it in your keychain. HP was maxed out. Okay. This is kind of weird. There's a note lying on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain dropped it. That's all you could read. I guess that was the hint. Click. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. The red switch has been turned on. Some kind of operating table. It's sticky. It's some kind of operating table and it's sticky. It's rinse repeat. So what else can I find in this place? That's one of the lights on. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opens its eyes. It's an empty dog food bowl. It's a bed. It's a bed. Seems like a comfy bed. Probably climb to it if you weren't on, if you were to the left of it. Entry number fourteen. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all waking, waking, walking around, and talking like nothing's wrong. I thought they were goners. The clock is broken. It's a fake plant. Let's climb into bed. Okay, that's weird. There's something on the sheets? Oh, that's a yellow key! Wow, I haven't found anything. Aw, oh, that's me! Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, a monster can absorb the souls of other monsters, just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessels are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. A seed? This is how Flowey was made. This is broken, um... This is a few monsters put together. Uh... Um... Let's mystify it. You did something mysterious. Blank Resonance has much learned from the world. Afraid of... What? What the... How? Hum to it. You hum a familiar tune, but no one heard you. Oh no. Now. You kneel and pray for safety. Blink remembers it's conscious. Something about a choice? What's going on here? It's 
clean it. You wash your hands. Nothing happened. What are you afraid of? You eat the potato chips. What are you afraid of? Something about making a choice? I don't know. Um... Let's pick on? Reaper Bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Courage. Ribbit, ribbit. It's, I'm able to understand it now. I think I, you have to do it in a certain order or something? Okay, let's go back. Right now. I need, I need, I need healing item. I need the healing and saving and... Okay, let's head up here. Let's not head up here. Uh, I was hoping that would just be around to put a key in, but it is not. Instead, I'm gonna head back this way since I was already making progress this way and I've already beaten the monster hybrid. I'm gonna call them Chimeras. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Cold. That's all you can read. So I need some kind of ice. I need to figure that puzzle out. But it looks like I didn't need to head this way anyway. I think this is how Flowey was made, though. Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden, and I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow, happy face. Entry number 16. No, 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 no. Looks like Bizquick seems to be afraid. There's a green key lying in the bathtub. You took it and put it on your keychain. It's an empty bathtub. That was creepy. This looks really familiar. <laughs> Smells like sweet lemons. Lemon bread? What? Uh, I don't even know where to begin. I'm going to hum. You hum a familiar tune. Lemon bread's body shakes. Welcome to my special hell! It smells like sweet lemons. Let's scream. You screamed out, but nobody came. But nobody came. It smells like sweet lemons. Let's unhug it. You want lemon bread be lemon bread's teeth shake. Do you think I'm pretty? Eat the potato chips. Your HP is maxed out. Stay here with me. Ow. Smells like sweet lemons. Uh, let's flex. You flex your arm, one bread seems to remember something. I felt this before. Could this be goodbye? What the hell? Click, the yellow key fits perfectly into the slot. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Under sheets. That's all you can read. VHS player with a few tapes uh, picked up beside it. Seems to be labeled in a specific order. We watch one? Psst. Gory, wake up. Hmm? What is it, dear? Er, and why do you have that video camera? This is Toriel Nazgore. No, it can't be that cute! 
Shush, I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Hmm, carrots, right? No, 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 my favorite vegetable is edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm, I don't know, Aunt Honey. What kind of dog would you be? I'd be a Mommeranian. <laughs> oh, you sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Mommedian. Well, I am going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, perhaps it's too dark in here for the video game to come out. Yep, that, that's my reaction to this quick. Choose a tape to watch. Okay, this quick. What the fuck? Do your creepy face. Ah! <laughs> oh, wait. I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. <laughs> this quick. Is this really what I thought it was? Howdy, Bizquick. Smile for the camera. <laughs> this time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we actually put in butter cups instead. Yeah, this flower has got him really sick. I felt so bad we made Mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. I have to agree with this quick reaction now to this, just the straight face. I, I don't like this idea, Bizquick. What? No, I'm not... Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Bizquick. Never. Yeah, we'll be strong. We'll be... F we'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. I'm starting to understand everything now. Bizquick, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Bizquick, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You're the future of humans and monsters. Psst, Bizquick, please wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, I... No, I said... I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? There are a bunch of VHSs. Seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. They seem to be alphabetized, save for a few s stray, sticky ones. Oh no! There are a bunch of VHSs. Ah, uh, sticky never sounds good. Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. DT extraction machine status inactive. Determination extraction. So this is what Flowey was during that final boss fight. That's obvious. No, 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 okay, we're not. We're not doing that. I need to go save and heal first. Even more importantly, I need to say, NEXT TIME on Let's Play Undertale! We're almost there. Yikes, I'm... I'm really, uh... Yeah. So, how I think it's going is this. I think... I think... 
I'm gonna keep my judgments for later. I don't want to say what I'm thinking yet. It's too dark to see near the walls. Something here feels warm and moist. Something here is something in the shape of a man. It's too dark to see near the walls. There's something here. It feels like a tree ripe with delicious fruit. It's sort some sort of cold rectangular object. How do we... Oh. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Curtain. That's all you could read. Click. The green key fits perfectly into the slot. That is the third one, so I'm still missing the blue one. Some sort of cold rectangular object. Okay, I think this room has to wait until later. This will more than likely turn on once I turn the power on. Will light up once I have the power on. Now, that's where I got the key. I'm still missing cold. That was the last hint for the blue key. Okay. How do I do this one? Wait, what? Uh, that's weird. This is really weird. I'm not sure what the purpose. It's just a regular suspicious bed now. It's a bed. It's, it's a little bed. Seems like a comfortable bed. Lie on it? Yes, I will. And I'll lie here forever. Oh, I figured it out. Gotcha! Nope, okay. Ew, it's gonna touch me. Bad touch, bad touch. Okay, I need to wait I need to wait longer than that. Or I could accidentally hit the uh accept button. Wait, have I not gone right yet? Oh. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. There's a switch on the wall. Press it. God. Well, I'm trapped. You call them amalgamate. It bounds towards you, flecking a strange liquid from a, an orifice. Amalgamate hovering close, looking for affection. Let's pet you. Your pet the Amalgamate it convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Z z z z z. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Ah! Ah! Stop! Amalgamate is striking the walls with its claws. Um. Play. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The Amalgamite brings it back to you. Proudly? You repeat this process a few times. Now Amalgamite is very tired. It leans its dripping amorphous body on you. Okay, this is disturbing. It's twitching affectionately. 
pet the amalgamate, it starts to generate a stage one happiness froth. Ew! The mom's dead! Convulsions intensify. I need to keep petting, I get that, but I cannot do that at the moment. Pet, pet decisively. The amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all this. Are those cats? Indigeny is contented. You won. You don't get anything for that. What the hell just happened? Huh. There were so many dogs. All of them dead and turned into one thing. Huh. This is getting really disturbing. Okay, that thing isn't moving luckily. Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone's coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. So all those letters she was getting. It wasn't that... Oh, it's a refrigerator. It's empty. It's a refrigerator. Seems to contain samples of some kind. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Yeah, I didn't think so. I couldn't walk behind that one. It's so cold. Amalgamate? Uh... You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Haha, <laughs> I remember. It's so cold. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression changes more. Ha, uh, thank you. It's so cold. You told a bad pun about snow. She completely calmed down. Find a blue key on the ground, you put it on your keychain. Okay, well, I figured that out. Why is that one moving if it's empty? I found the last key, finally. But, God, this place. It's like to think Alphys did this. Alphys caused all this? These monsters, all their souls combined into one? The amalgamations of all these monsters and me having to deal with them. I feel so bad for them. 